WBAL-TV 11. This is breaking news. And that breaking news tonight, a third body has been recovered from the wreckage of the Key Bridge collapse. Maynard Yasir Suazo Sandoval was one of four workers who has been missing since the collapse last Tuesday. 11 News reporter Tori Yorgi uh, spoke exclusively with state police tonight and joins us now live with those late breaking details. And Tori, you spoke with Colonel Roland Butler. Right, Ashley. And uh, Colonel Butler described today as just a very somber day in that one on one interview we had with him tonight. And keep in mind, you know, we're 10 days from when that collapse happened here at the Key Bridge collapse site. And one family has closure tonight, but there are still several other families that Colonel Butler says they are working to also bring that closure for. To the families still awaiting answers, we ask you to please be patient. We're working diligently to provide closure. We cannot stress how dangerous the conditions are down there, and we're working our very hardest to recover anyone that's down there and help you bring closure to this tragic event. State police tell us the body of 38-year-old Menor Yasir Suavo Sandoval was pulled from the Patapsco River around 10.30 this morning, just a few hours before the president's visit. Unified Command says the victim was pulled from what they believe is a red vehicle. Unfortunately, he was the only individual we located in that vehicle. Uh, we went back down uh, a short period of time later to conduct the search around the area. The diver was able to enter the vehicle and could not find anyone else within the vehicle, and there was no one else located in the area of the vehicle. We know crews are working to remove pieces of the key bridge from the Patapsco River, but the governor has repeatedly said just because they are in salvage operation mode does not mean they will stop searching for the missing victims. Colonel Butler says at this point they are still searching for the remaining three construction workers and the vehicles they were using. Yes, we are, but you know, just as they're working to remove parts of the structure, they're working very slow and methodically so they can account for shifts or anything else that occurs there. Once they come across something, just like they did this morning, they bring everything to a stop, they make sure it's safe, and we deploy divers. Now, we did receive statements tonight, one from Governor Westmore releasing the following, saying in part, Maryland is praying for the family of Maynoria Sayre Suazo Sandoval and all of his loved ones. On the night of the collapse, these men were engaged in challenging, dangerous work, tending to our state's infrastructure for our collective benefit. They hailed from communities that have gone long overlooked and underappreciated, but their work had dignity and their contributions will never be forgotten. That's Governor Moore. We also received a statement from Baltimore City Mayor Brandon Scott saying in part, this evening, the Unified man announced that divers were able to bring Maynor Yasser Suazo Sandoval home to his family, uh, one of the remaining missing workers while I take solace in knowing this brings us one step closer to closure. My heart continues to be with all the families still waiting anxiously for their loved ones. Now, I do want to point out we did speak with Sandoval's brother the night of the collapse. He described him as a very happy guy who really motivated his family. Live tonight from Dundalk, Tori Yorkie, WBAL-TV 11 News.